It is one of the lines that Vimon can go through. Yeah. So I think that I think a node tamer is first. Input your name. Oh, there too. So when Digimon was getting popular, yeah, and they wanted to branch off into the stories and stuff. They made Wonder Swan exclusive games. What is the Wonder Swan? It is the it's Bandai's answer to the Game Boy Color. There is the Wonder Swan for the Game Boy, and then the Wonder Swan Color for the Game Boy Color. And while Pokemon had, well, Nintendo had Pokemon. Yeah. Bandai had Digimon. So how do you make a new game without having to? really focus on messing up the show that's already running while also keeping it fresh, you create a new character. This kid is named Ryo. Mm -hmm. He's using his dad's laptop because he's supposed to be getting one for Christmas. But it's not Christmas yet. And his folks aren't home. Okay. And the basic story right here is that there's some strange unexplainable events happening around around the planet right now so like earthquakes and terrorist attacks well no there's earthquakes and strange weather patterns and people are thinking it's terrorist attacks oh. and some people even said that it was because of the digimons really are you kidding me and some people think it's digimon because mm. in so what they did with rio was introduce the fact that Different universes exist in the Digimon franchise. Rio here Straight comes up. from the universe that has Ty in the main cast from Digimon Adventure. Uh -huh. oh, man, everyone has been captured. Please help us. Please help us. Please touch it. <laughs> The Digivice. That's just, just forming the reward, I guess. I assume is the idea. Yep. Okay. Which is part for the course. So, he gets pulled into their world, and he technically doesn't get a partner right away. But, because he doesn't get a partner, he gets this very unique ability to tame Digimon. He becomes the first tamer. Huh. He partners with Digimon that aren't necessarily a partner to him in the same vein that Agumon belongs to Tai and Gabumon belongs to Matt. That kind of thing. Yeah. Can you hear me? That multiple ones in this one. Yes. And the battle system is a little different. Also, keep in mind, the Wondrous One was a handheld. This is a handheld game we're looking at. It's not at. too bad. It's, it's not. In some cases, it looked way better than the Game Boy Color, but the Game Boy Color had international power. Well, the Wonder Swan, I don't think ever left Japan, mm. or it might have left Japan and went like to Southeast Southeast Asia, because that's where things typically end up going. Mm. But it never went farther than that. Dream or something? No, no, this isn't a dream. This is the digital world. This is the world inside of the digital network. The kind that's inside a machine like a computer or a game. We're going to skip through this. He got yeah. pulled in and the plot is basically... So, the Digimon Adventure ended. They won. They beat the, the main bad guy. Everything's happy, right? There's a new Digimon, a new evil Digimon showing up that reset the network. And basically made it so all of the achievements they did didn't happen. And now we have to go so I'll, save that or revert it. Kind of. All of the partner Digimon can no longer Digivolve. Their partners were um, captured. And all of the villains are back. So it's up to Ryo to go and free everyone. And help them take out the main bad guys from the show. <laughs> while going towards the... Um, the main villain of the game. I don't like how yeah, this Pokemon is... has like three necks. Yeah, they try to do some <laughs> they try to do some uh intense sprites. We'll just say that. Yeah. yeah some so... of them don't look too great in that small little window. 
Whoa. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but what the heck's going on? Like I said, in the computer world, lots of places have weird digital problems. Recently, there have been earthquakes and flash floods, and it's getting really out of hand. What? I really don't understand, but this is computer world, right? For some strange reason, it went weird and Agumon's adventures went were supposed to be finished, went right back to the beginning. That's right. Seem to understand it quite well. This has to be a bad dream. I've been playing too many games. Hmm. And then the fun thing that they did with Ryo, his games are real. Well, not anymore. They were really popular in Japan when they were out. Yeah. And so, when this third season came out, he was a cameo character. Okay, so that's actually. Also, oh, this is the gameplay. Video. Are you playing? I'm not. It's all computer generated for this first fight. Okay. This is the gameplay. It's tile based in this weird tactical manner. So when they showed the the scenes of Digimon, what's it called? Digimon Survive, the new one that's supposed to be coming out yeah. relatively soon. It was very familiar to this. This was the. This is what I thought of when I first saw that. I was like, okay. oh man. Because I don't you know, think we've ever gone back to this game style, this gameplay style. Tile-based uh, combat for Digimon? Mm-hmm. Everything's either been turn-based or um, the weird free roam that Digimon World has. Yeah. It does look nice, though, sprite work-wise. That's some good sprite work. It's real nice. And there's this weird secondary um, system where the Digimon can learn different abilities... They're called uh, DTEX, I think they're called. But you can only learn DTEX if you go into enough fights where the enemy uses the DTEX. Okay. So it's kind of random. So like he's using baby same flame. Random encounter, is... I assume. Yes, and I but I think the random encounters um, have a set number of Digimon that can show up. <laughs> like if. Like there's a there's a tower we go into for the first dungeon. You go in there and there's like three fights. They're always the same three when you first go through there, but if you go through them again, I think it changes up a little bit. Not yeah. the level that you're supposed to be at for it, but just what shows up. Are these your friends or your selection? The, these are the members of the village. Okay. They just kind of help out and stand around. And then there's Jedi. Oh. Everybody remembers Jedi. Yeah. Kinda, I don't think it ever makes sense. I think he was just was, wasn't he? He was... He just was the, what uh... they called a being of the digital world that wasn't a Digimon, but he wasn't human. Just a sort of guy. Yeah. Yeah, he just kind of exists. Kind of like how, um... Kind of like how they say any data that comes through the digital world has a chance of becoming a Digimon. And that's mm -hmm. why there's literal trash and poop data. Yeah. Digimon. He's, He's effectively what a human would be in the di in the digi space. Hmm. And for whatever reason, just got is here, and no one He's else. He's just here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get through some of it. Those are our villains, and Kameramon from the second season fused with a Machindramon from the first season. Hmm. And because, by fusing by accident, they created Millennium Mon. Now, Millennium Mon, as Millennium Mon as a whole, is nothing too spectacular except for the fact that they gave him the ability to manipulate time. <laughs> so he becomes Ryo's main villain. How every how every tamer in Digimon main character has a villain Millennium on is his is that a consistent and between thing? this say again is that a consistent thing throughout games or just this time throughout throughout this game and the next game which is a node I think it's called okay or cathode no this one's a node the other one's like cathode, cathode. or something like that anode and cathode but you get to the end of this one you fight Millennium on I don't remember how the fight plays out because I looked this up way before actually playing it, like a long time ago. 
but you fight him and you basically lose. And Katho picks up right after that, where Millennium on gets stronger and digivolves into, I want to say it's Zed Millennium on is his next form. And that one can manipulate dimensions. Oh. So not only can he just make it so things didn't happen, he can just How disappear into Sinnoh another world. not fucked? How is that dead? Uh, normally they're separate in that weird space-time, the dimensions stream, the dimension streams don't cross kind of way. Until they have to cross. And then you want to sure to come and join your cause. Rio and I fight together, we can still defeat him, but if we gain all more allies, we can create an army powerful enough to defeat him. First, we should go to the cave. That's the closest to the village. There's a small group of enemy Digimon there. Going there and fight would be the best way to do it. I understand. Azuma, we fight them one gang ability allies along the way, right? I'm not sure how far our strength will go, but I'll do my best and try it. I knew you'd say that. Wait for us, time. We'll save you. Alright. So this is gameplay. Okay. This is the this main is town. Overworld? Or just a okay, town? Overworld and town. Mm. You can talk to the Digimon. They're not very helpful as a whole. No. They just kind of give you snippets of information. As the game progresses, they change little layouts. And they're like, hey, you can go over here and do this. And then either your shots. Oh my god, I hate this one. Not in mind, <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate him. I don't have any money. I have to leave. This is Digimon House. Change every day. After you come back from your adventure, the conversation may change. You should check it out. I guess discussion about variable moves is the most common topic. Wonder which Digimon you need to learn variable moves from. That's what they're called. V okay. moves. And that's the one you can learn by fighting ones with the same move over and over? Yeah. And this is Agumon. These are his stats. He's a land type Digimon. You see, he doesn't have any variable moves. They're the special moves not the, that aren't attacks. Well, they are attacks, but Did they have Agumon various things. Have like some fingers? Few... Yeah, he's always had four fingers. And then wow. look at them, they're little processor chips. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. What is this? This is... This common topic around here is variable moves. So that's basically your little tutorial. Okay. I mean, sometimes they give you hints, sometimes they teach you something different. Trading house, where you can trade Digimon. You're going to link with another machine. Because, just like Pokemon, there were two versions. You could trade between mm. them. Okay. And I'm going to actually... I'm going to show you this first fight. Here's the cave. You go in. You pick your team. Not much to teach from. I only have the one. Yeah. Go in. Both mine. So I'll yeah. move forward. Go forward. And attack. So there's a basic attack. You just, yeah. you just go in and slap them. Can and you come back fight... to this mountain and it'll keep being the same fight over and over? You can keep going back to this mountain. It's not always going to be a Botamon in this first level. Sometimes it's something else. Sometimes it's a Botamon and something else. Hmm. But you can keep doing that to grind and level up. So I just want to show this real quick. Hmm. And then I'm going to actually reset and load my save. So I can show you what it looks like a little later on in the game. So this is the basics of it. You win, you get a stat screen to tell you how many turns you took, how much uh, how much money you get, how much experience you get, if you get an item. Mm -hmm. Now you go to the next rune, next level Digimon, next level setup, right? Stronger and tougher. And more than even. Say, say again? Stronger and tougher and more. Yeah. The higher up you go, the stronger they get. I mean, that's why strategy goes, is they actually in strategy later? The V moves. The V moves add strategy because some of them will be heal the ally, heal all allies on the map, or damage all enemies on the map, or attack from this range, or defend from the. It's okay. the variable moves are what add the strategy to it. Other than that, it's just get in and hit. Yeah. Because I see the map is limiting your movement, so I imagine there's some mm -hmm. V moves that really impact impact range. Yes. And then if you remember when I, mean, I was looking at the tiles, that'd be kind of neat. 
Yeah, and when I was looking at the, ta the stat screen, it showed Agumon as a land Digimon. Hmm. Meaning he can only really traverse land tiles. Ah, so they are flying. Mm -hmm. There are some that are flying ones, and they can go over mountaintops, and they the make water, movement maybe. way better. And water, I think, it, they either are able to pass through water, or they have a bonus that goes through water, something like that. Okay. And that's pretty much the basis of it. Hmm. And then it's like, Jedi says he has something to give you. And every time you go through stuff, the plot will progress. You get items. Here's Digivice as your reward. Okay. It's amazing how I didn't get that when they started this, right? It's wild. I thought you touched it. <laughs> I thought I did too. Mm -hmm. Digivice is a sacred device that the so chosen children So you would go through the areas. Mm -hmm. Eventually you find a boss, beat the boss, and then you go, hey, you the area. Yeah, I pretty much. Rushing. Okay. And if I can use it too. No, you can't use it because it belonged to Ty. But no. you're, the cho you're a chosen child too, so you can use one kind of power. Just one. Digivice increases its sacred power by fighting with enemies. If you use that power against an enemy, if the Digivice power is strong enough, you can turn that enemy into an ally. So this is how I go in and catch Digimon. Okay. Is it like your teamer level, or is it just based off certain stats? Uh, the the Digivice itself has its own little stat. Okay. I think that's technically your tamer level. You fight, get stronger, stronger you get, you can capture stronger Digimon. Right at the gate. Yeah. I assume you can Digivolve, though. Your own yes. Digimon you have. The ones that you make allies with, I believe you can okay. Digivolve. I don't think you can do it with Agumon. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Anything stopping you from Area 1 grinding out whatever Digimon you want? No, nothing okay. really, outside of the experience you get. Yeah. So that's the next area, technically. But I can just come back over in here, and, and he'll fighting. be like, We have already cleared this dungeon, do you want to enter it again? And it'll just... It's just telling you that you've already done it. Okay. So you know what... So if you're not sure where to go next. Like this, I, I think mean, it's repaired and you can go into it later. It's hard linear. Hard but linear. But I mean, it's fine. But I think it opens up later on. Hold on. Okay. We'll go in here. You can see what it looks like. The next new area. And the tame, do you have to knock him out, or is there like a specific function called tame or something? Unit, item, a digivice to remove enemy Digimon's power when it's pointed and used against... Uh oh <laughs> An enemy Digimon, the Digimon, then becomes an ally. So it's at zero right now. I think I need to fight and it'll go up a little. Okay. And the higher that number, the higher chance I have of catching a Digimon. I imagine these are kind of weak overall, these ones you're fighting. Mostly, yeah. So it's an requirement. But this is also the dungeon that's supposed to teach you about catching Digimon. Okay. So, if you don't catch one in the first couple floors, it starts getting a lot dif a lot more difficult. Hmm. Then, item. See how that says it's one? Go ahead and try to use it. Let's release. The enemy didn't become allies. Okay. And Did then that, ca that, that counts as my turn. It goes up per turn, I think? It's either turn or battle. Okay. Let's let's find out. That was one battle. Here's battle two. So it'll be three or two then. You don't lose any points, do you? You don't lose any points. Okay. So we'll try it again. Enemy didn't become allies. What's the limit on the number? I honestly don't know. Mm. Like there's there's like whole ass guides and stuff for these. I, yeah. I, I would need to go and look through them for more specifics. I'm just going off of what I know from what I remember. Yeah. Now that it's at five. Hmm. And I don't think weakening them has anything to do with it. I think it's the the higher the number, the it's better really the chance. It's based off levels and chances and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Because I think this, uh, this took one stat after this hit. It is. Unless we miss. Hmm? Oh, there we go. 
You defeated Tokomon. All right, we'll try it one more time. Did you successfully catch though? Would have we set the number? Yes. Okay. That's okay. And we didn't become allies. And because we won that one, we got a little more extra power. All right. So it's really just grind it out for a while to catch one, and then grind it out again for another. Yeah. Game. Unfortunately. Yeah. I guess it's like a free Pokeball, but... With an extensive cooldown is all. An extensive cooldown. It kind of reminds me of... Way back in the day, there was an MMO for Digimon Season 3, Digimon Tamers, <laughs> called, um, it was called Digimon Online in Korea, but when we finally got it, like, four years after the fact that it was out, we called it, uh, Digimon Battle, right. and it was one of those, oh, you get a starter Digimon, and you can, you can okay. capture other Digimon, but, soon enough. Oh yeah, no, we're probably gonna lose this. It's fine though. But you could either What's the game over screen look like? I don't remember. Agumon was defeated. Lose. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a hard game over or if it just kicks you out. Feels like you kicked just out. kicks you out. Yeah. We were really beaten, weren't we? You have no items or variable lose the heal, you then return courageously as one route you can take. Okay. Yeah. This stops you back. Oh, and then the points stay. The points stay between uh -huh. dungeons. So it's I could go in and beat on the weeks then. and then go back up. I assume a, a loss means more later on. I think it's just, um... I'm not entirely sure what you lose when you die. I think it might be experience, or whatever experience you would have gotten. But no, it's it's supposed to be kid-friendly. Yeah. Okay, so then. We're gonna reset that. real quick. So now this is my, um... This is the save that I was already working on, I think. Or did it take over my save? I say kid took over. It might have took it over. Hold on. I think we're even farther behind because we didn't have the Digi device. Save states. Yeah. Slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. Did it not save? Oh no! Well, it might be one of those save states. That's the latest. I don't have a save state. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a shame. Well. Well. That's Digimon. That's Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> that seems that fine, is a, that, that's a huge shame. But yeah, the, the, um, the game... It looks pretty basic, but I mean, A, considering it's time, it actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, this uh, was because there wasn't a whole uh, lot of Digimon speaking, uh, handheld. Gameplay looks alright overall as well. I mean, it's not much, but at the same time, you don't need much when it comes to games. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially when it's a game for road trips. Yeah. You're supposed and... to sit down, play this for a little bit when you're in the car. At that luncheon you don't want to be at. <laughs> the uncle's on the table again five beers in, complaining about his brother. Five beers in, father. trying to hit on... Trying to hit on your mom, and she was like, no, stop that. Yeah, we've been over this. It's done and over. The turkey's being burned, because they, they keep forgetting to check on it. The kids are, like, out and about, getting into the trash can again. And it's, it's just a whole mess, but... With Digimon, and Delilah can... won't fucking understand what the fuck a Wonder Swan is. <laughs> and it's not the Antichrist. Not the Antichrist. It's just it just lets you talk to little digital monsters. And Jennifer Digimon won't call me. Server. <sighs> but it looks like. Alright. I pretty solid little game. Mm-hmm. 
I adore this. I'm a little upset that I lost my save. Yeah. <laughs> in all honesty, but at the same time, I was probably going to restart anyway. Yeah. But that's uh, that's Digimon. Yeah.